Hello and welcome to this episode of Gritty Tips. Yes. Hello, folks. Welcome to this episode of Gritty Tips. On this episode, we want to talk about calling elk. Now, a lot of manufacturers and elk call manufacturers, they want you to think that it's about the call that you use when, when working elk. But the fact of the matter is, it has very little to do with the call that you use and has everything to do with what you're wearing. How do we know this? We learn this by observation. Uh, in one of our early podcasts, we had Charlie Smith of Phelps Game Calls on the show, and we observed that he was wearing a Phelps cut-off sleeve shirt. So Charlie, Charlie uh, was wearing this, and anyway, later we contacted Charlie and got on the phone with him, and uh, this is what happened. Dude, come on, Charlie. Tell me the truth. How are you guys doing it? I know it's not the calls. I know it's not. Tell me how you're doing it. How are you calling in all those bulls? It's a trade secret, man. I can't tell you. You can tell me, dude. Come on. Nobody has to know. I won't say a word. Just tell me how you're doing it. Oh, I'll get in too much trouble. Dude, Charlie Phelps doesn't have to know. You promise? I swear, dude. I swear. A gritty promise. Phelps does not have to know. It's the bloody cut-off shirt. What? It's the bloody cut-off shirts. It's the cut-off shirts? You can use any call. It's just a cut-off shirt. All right, folks. So you can see where we gathered this information. Um, what we learned from Charlie is it's really not about how you use the call, but about the shirt you're wearing, about the clothes you're wearing. When you wear a cut-off sleeve shirt, it makes you feel macho and manly. That passion, that manliness goes through the bugle into the environment, and the elk can sense it. They can feel it, and uh, they respond accordingly. So our gritty tip is wear that cut-off sleeve shirt. Work that cut-off sleeve shirt. Make it work for you. And as you feel that manliness, you'll you'll be calling in twice the bulls. Now and we we felt a little guilty about disclosing this information, but this is a trade had, secret. Had to come out. But, had to come out. But ethically, as we have high standards, uh, we we felt we had to do it. Now I know there's a lot of you out there that might be on the skinny side, Brian. What do they do? Well, we thought about that. You know, Charlie, Charlie's you know, he's on the skinny side. And so if you have real skinny arms and stuff, we thought about this. Um, you still want to feel manly. So it's best if you wear an undershirt underneath your cutoff sleeve shirt. Um, if you're a little bit on the muscular side, then just just go skin. It's totally cool. You could just go skin, you know, just but but if you're on the small side. Yeah, wear a long sleeve undershirt. Uh, that accents the cut-off sleeve shirt. Or several layers. Or pad your arms with bits of tissue paper. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Anything to get an advantage in hunting. Mm -hmm. Just important that you feel macho. Okay. Uh, I'm Brian Call. I'm Mark Brangley. And that's our gritty tip. Stay gritty. Are you getting that angle? You get there's the, that tricep. You got the tricep? Yeah. Pump your fist a bit. Pump my fist. Yeah, get the veins going. Come on. Do I? You, you got a tennis ball or anything? Yeah. Work it a wee bit more. How is this? Does this shirt make me look fat? Oh, a little bit. But you getting it? Oh yeah. You got it. That's the angle. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Arnold. Come on, Charlie. Tell us how you're doing it. Come on, man. I know it's not the calls. How are you doing it? How are you calling in those bulls? I can't do that. It's a trade secret. Trade secret, my butt. Come on, tell me. It's my job. I'll lose my job. Nobody has to know. It's just between us. Okay, I'll tell you. When, when you gotta do something for me. What, what, anything, dude. What is it? What is it? Dude, dude. Always wear a cut-off sleeve shirt. 
Right. When you bugle. And cut a sleeve shut. Is that like a wife beater? No, not quite. Is it just it's, you cut the sleeves it's, off? It's more redneck instead of white ah. trash. So, so the Someday sleeves I just, hope to be a redneck. The sleeves are just We feel at the Greedy Bowman that it's the only ethical thing to do. Um, we really have to right. to. We have very high morals and standards. And so uh, we have to let the secret out of the bag. It's Jason's cut-off shirts. And he will soon be supplying cut-off shirts on his site. Truly, uh, the Phelps cut-off sleeve shirt has a nice yes. uh, look to it. Right. I would I would highly consider it. Uh, if you're more muscular, go ahead and just go skin. You know, just no, no undershirt. If you're skinny, you can do what teenage girls do and stuff some tissue papers into your sleeves to make yourself look more masculine. Teenage girls do that? Don't you remember the, the people telling you about that when you were young? <laughs> they did a pad, padded your bras. It's like wearing a padded bra. Stuff them sleeves so your pythons are sticking out and the elk will just come to you. Yeah.